No, I'm gonna ignore you. I'm gonna ignore you. I'm gonna ignore you. I'm ignoring you. I'm ignoring you. Hey, I'm trying to ignore you. I'm ignoring you. I'm ignoring you. Sit. Mm, very good. Paw. Give me paw. Good boy. Give me paw. Give me paw. Give me paw. One more time. Okay, good. Now you can get. I like doing this to him. He likes it too. Now, are you ready for the flappy flaps? You did a good boy. <laughs> Can I give you a hug? Nancy, sometimes he's like, eh, about hugs. Sometimes he likes them and sometimes he feels smothered. So, I think right now it's one of those situations that he's feeling good about. Nancy, you like hugs sometimes, right? <sighs> Alright, so can I do this video or what? Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. On this week's video, we are going to be focusing on Peach's heel work. For those of you who are new, uh, we have been releasing weekly vlogs of Peach's overall progress with obedience training and training in general. So this week's video is mainly going to focus on her heel work. Now, you want to teach your dog how to heal for a couple of reasons. First reason is that it helps you keep complete control of your dog, especially on walks, um, which is very, very important, especially if you have a large breed dog. You don't want your dog to be dragging you around everywhere. Um, second reason healing is important is because it helps redirect your dog's attention from something that maybe you don't want them to look at or you don't want them to walk towards. Um, just like any other command, it's a great way to help them get their mind off of whatever they're fixating on, especially if they're a working breed like this guy. So that's the second reason. Third reason is that it's a great way to bond with your dog. It becomes something that you guys are both working on together as opposed to just going out for a walk with no reason. And for working breed dogs especially, healing is very important because it keeps them in a working state of mind. So that when they are out, they know that they are supposed to be focusing on just healing. Um, they're, obviously, they don't have to heal all the time. There is a command to let them do whatever, but we can get into that later. Um, so yeah, so that's another reason that healing is very important. And one of the, all of the reasons are important, but I think this one is especially important. Healing helps your dog understand that you're the boss, that you are the decision maker, that you are the one that is to be followed, not the other way around. If you think about it, when your dog is healing, they're behind you, they're not trying to get in front of you, and that really helps um, in keeping their, keeping them in control, um, and that helps with their self-control. So they know that they're looking to you, that they have to heal, um, and they have to follow you, not the other way around. That's why it's something that you should especially practice with your puppy, with your dog, um, especially if you have a working breed dog, a giant dog. <laughs> healing is so important that it actually helped um, Dante a lot with his training. For those of you who know, and for those of you who don't know, Dante's initial training was not correct for his breed. We initially took him to a positive reinforcement only type of training and that ended up be giving him a very negative experience and he ended up being reactive to things that he wasn't sure of or that he didn't know or things that he hasn't seen before and with a lot of obedience training afterwards including heel work it helped him get out of that phase so now when we go on walks he just focuses on healing he knows that he needs to listen to me and he doesn't need to worry about anything else which is amazing so that's why healing is awesome ready peach you ready girl Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do to teach your dog how to heal is teach them the healing position. And you're simply going to achieve this by luring your dog to the heel position with a treat. You can use anything your dog likes. As of right now, I'm using Peach's kibble because that's enough of an incentive for her. The heel position should be behind your heel on your left side. Once Peach reaches this position, I make sure to make her sit and I mark her behavior by giving her a treat and praising her. Once your dog understands the heel position, you can start incorporating movement. As you're walking, you will dispense the treat and continue to praise your dog. 
The idea is to increase the amount of time that your dog is healing and decrease the amount of treats that you are dispensing. Eventually, I will only give Peach a treat after I give her her release word, and then we will work on completely weaning her off of the treats. Through consistent training, I am building my relationship with her. She is developing respect towards me now, so as an adult, she'll be obedient without the use of treats. chickens Hey guys, so Peach and I just came back from practicing some more healing outside um, and I wanted to take this opportunity to thank the sponsors for this video, which is Brazil Woodwork. We got a couple of the things in the mail already, so I thought it'd be cool to do a little unboxing with you guys. So the first item is this really pretty and cute drip coffee um, stand. So for all those coffee lovers, this is really great. Um, it does give the coffee a different type of flavor if you make it this way um, as opposed to just having the coffee machine or on the Keurig Again, if you like coffee you'll know um, but it's really cool it comes with the filters and as well as um, some care instructions here um, that explains how you should wash it um, how to disinfect it and a bunch of other cool tips so yeah this is the first item we got Okay, second item. Okay, so we got two um, arm sofa arm trays, and this little indentation here is, you know, for if you want to put in a cup or something like that. Um, I especially needed this because I leave. Well, my husband always complains that I leave like full glasses of water in very precarious locations so this is going to be helping me a lot <laughs> so let's look at the other thing that we got there we go <gasps> okay so this is actually this was a present for my husband it was his birthday not too long ago so it has his name on it and it says chillin' and grillin'. <laughs> we like to barbecue a lot here in this family. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cute. Again, it comes with all the care instructions here. Um, and it actually also comes with these little rubber stoppers, I guess that's what it's called. So it's, you know, if you set it down, it's gonna stay in place. Um, but it's so, it's so nice. It's so, so nice. I love it. So yeah, so um, they're amazing items, they're all handmade. If you guys want custom orders, they have that available as well. Um, if you guys liked any of the things that you saw, you can check out their Etsy shop. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, this is a kind of a family owned because it's not, um, my last name is Brazil, but this is not my business. It's actually my father-in-law's business and he's a very, very talented and amazing woodworker and if you guys want to see any of those items or if you guys want to gift anything um, I'll leave the Etsy shop link in the description everything is handmade 
Um, again, there are custom orders and you want something kind of like what Lucas got for his birthday um, with, you know, somebody's name engraved on it or some cute little phrase, they would be able to do that for you guys. So, I hope that you guys liked all the stuff. I'm so excited to use everything. Um, it's very pretty, very decorative. You can, it's the kind of thing that you can leave out and it's not like an ugly kitchen appliance. <laughs> so it's, I'm super excited to put it all over my kitchen. So yeah. So, uh, don't forget to check that out. Good girl. So I just gave her her release word <laughs> and she's doing a very good job. Yeah, you're a good girl, Peachy. You're a good girl. <laughs> what a good girl. Yeah, what a good girl. I gave her the release word, but she's still healing. I, I think, so this is the first time actually that we give her the release word. So she doesn't know what to do with all this freedom. Oh, there we go. There she's walking a little bit forward. Hey, what is that? Is that oh, horse poop? Stop it, girl. Come on. No, don't do that. Your brother used to love eating horse poop too. Good girl. So it's good to have balance. Um, while you want your dog to be disciplined, you also want to know that you also want them to know that they will be rewarded for good behavior. Come on, Peach. So she did a good job since we left the house. So this is her chance to, you know, explore a little bit, get her mind off of healing, um, and you know, just just chill out. Right, Peachy girl? Yeah, it's good to have fun too. And deserve it and when we go back to healing now that we've kind of gotten to this point that she knows what it is well um, when she doesn't do it and she misbehaves now we can start applying um, correction so we do correct before but now it's gonna be a little bit more I want to say serious but she knows now that she's what she's supposed to do. So if she gets out of line and she doesn't do it, it has to be clear that it's something that she can't do. For example, if we're healing and she decides to walk right in front of me, I can use my body to block that and to put her back in place, literally. Um, or if she is pulling too much, trying to go in one direction, um, then I can go the other way. <gasps> Cows! What is that? It's so cute, right? So, she just saw some cows. I think it's the first time she sees them. Good girl! Good girl! Here you go. Here. Good girl. Very good girl. So I, um, oh, I praised her because she didn't bark at the cow. She looked at it, something she hasn't seen before, but she didn't have a negative reaction from it. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, I don't know why I too ran from the cow. Um, it just, at the time, it looked very big and scary, and I panicked. Um, but I know it's completely illogical because how many times has a cow killed anyone? Um, so. Okay, uh, let's get back to the video. She's looking straight at the cow. Hey, look, sit, good girl. Hey, look at me, look at me, peach. Here, we're just gonna keep walking here until she stops. Heel, heel. Uh-uh, 
heel. No peach, heel. She's trying to hide behind me and I'm not letting her. Here, let's keep practicing, okay? Good girl. So she's better now, but um, she had to understand that the cows weren't anything to be afraid of. So that's why I didn't leave shortly after she barked or tried to take her away because I want her to understand that they're not something that she should um, have a reaction like that towards. So she's doing a lot better. Come on, Peach. You. Good girl. Very good. She's still keeping an eye on them, but she's not barking. Heel. Very good girl. Very good girl. Um. Hey, Peach. Sit. Good girl. Uh-uh. Sit. Peach. Sit. Good girl. Very good girl. So, yeah. So, I didn't leave right away because I wanted her to understand that um, the cows aren't something that she should have a reaction like that towards. If I were just to leave after she barked, I would have sent her the message that, yeah, this is something scary and good job that you barked because now we're gonna leave. And I don't want her to have that message. I want her to understand, oh, I completely overreacted. The cows are nothing to worry about and we're still walking by them. So if Michelle is walking by them, they must be okay. Good girl. So now she's a lot better. She's more relaxed. She's not fixating on them. She's still keeping an eye on them, but she's looking at the grass. She's doing other things. So, yeah. I actually did get startled when the cow ran over here because I thought it might jump the fence or something. Um, <laughs> but it's good that it didn't. Let's walk down the road, girl. Come on, heel. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. Very good girl. Come here, peachy girl. Come. Sit. Yeah, guys, so we found a little place to sit down for a little bit. Um, take a little break, an actual break. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much concludes the end of this video, of our heel work video. I encourage you guys to practice this with your dogs. Um, it's a very, very useful skill for them to know. Um, something that can help them in any kind of situation to take them out of 
any kind of distraction or fixation that they may have, um, especially if they are a protective breed like Peach. So yeah, I really encourage you to practice this. Um, even if your dog is a little bit older, you should totally practice. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of an example, Dante probably learned how to heal when he was almost a year old. Um, and that's because we didn't really know how useful of a skill it was until we went to our trainer and um, he explained everything to us. So now that, I, that we know that, we're able to implement those things with Peach at such a young age. So she's going to be way ahead of Dante um, by the time she is his age. So it's okay if your dog is a little bit older, they can still learn something like this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe so that you guys can see more videos like this. We are gonna be posting more of Peach's progress with other kinds of obedience training. Um, and we're really excited to share all of those things with you. We've learned so much with Dante um, that we want to you know, be able to impart a little bit of what we know to you guys. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And see you next week. Bye. Peachy, say bye. Look, they're over there. They're over there. <laughs> Good girl. Bye.